Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to the very simple guide to safely optimize your GPU, how to optimize the performance without affecting the life of your GPU. In this video, I'm going to be dividing the whole segment, so make sure to watch it down wisely. And without wasting up any further ado, let's get started. So step number one, you need two applications for the whole process. First one is obviously MSI Afterburner and second one is MSI Combustor. Both of these applications run in partnership to optimize and overclock your GPU. So once you have downloaded both of them, begins our step number two over here. So you have to open up your MSI Afterburner just like this and put it on the top left section of your screen. Now click on this K icon over here on the left side and then open up your stress test. So in the MSI Combustor, there are some things that are very important to read. First one is the temperature. Second one is the uh, speed. And third one is the GPU load. On the top left section, you can see all of your GPU specifications. And down here, you have to take a note on your GPU temperature. Now on the 97% load, my temperature is almost 70 degrees Celsius, but we are going to work on it now. Okay, so the first thing you have to do in here uh, is you have to go back to your afterburner and then set your power limit and temperature limit to maximum. Now this will not affect your GPU life or damage it anyway. This will just allow your GPU to run on its max potential. So basically this will allow your GPU to draw maximum power from your power supply that your GPU can handle. By default, it is set to 100 and that is just a safe limit because uh, your GPU will never consume power more than 100. But in case you are doing heavy duty gaming or rendering, you have to set it to 111. Now for the fan speed, I uh, highly recommend you guys do not leave it automatic, set it to 75 or anywhere near 75 because anywhere above 75 will make it much more noisy and if you do not like noisy fans then I highly recommend you guys to set it to 75. 75 fan speed according to me gives you better cooling to performance ratio without uh, much sound so I guess 75 is good. Once you have set these settings over here the fan and fan speed settings I highly recommend you guys to save it to a slot. For me I'm going to save it to my slot number one and then click on this section which says apply on windows startup. This will automatically allow my windows to set the fan settings just after my windows boots up. So you don't have to do this step over and over. Now coming to our uh, basic GPU configuration setup, that is our clock setup. Now in here, by default, your clock will be set to zero as well as your memory clock will be set to zero. First, you have to start up with your core clock with the increments of 20 from 200 FPS, I went to 205 FPS. You can even go up to 40, that will give you much more FPS. So you guys can see now it goes more above 205 FPS. So you can see now we are going up to 211 FPS. So as you can see, I was previously running this OpenGL rendering at almost 190 to 200 FPS and now it's going up to 225. You can increment the core clock values until your combustor crashes or your monitor goes black or even your PC crashes. And even if it all crashes, there's no harm. This is just checking of your uh, GPU and after you boot it up, it will automatically be set to zero. As you guys can see, I can increment it to 100 without any uh, loss of FPS or without any crashing. You can check out your limit by incrementing it the same way and if anything crashes then you can always set it to minus 30 or minus 40 of the same range. So say if my computer runs maximum at 140 and after that it crashes so I have set it to 100. So why you should never set it to the maximum limit of core clock is because whenever you're gaming the game will give strain on your GPU and if your GPU cannot handle that strain it will automatically crash and you don't want your game to be crashing so you have to set it to minus 40 or minus 30 of your maximum limit so your game can run without any crashing 
once you have set your core clock now this is a safe core clock which will not damage the life of your gpu then you have to set your memory clock and to increase memory clock you can again start up with the increment of 20s now i have set my memory clock to 70 because this is my safe limit and you can check your safe limit until your programs crash and do not worry even if it crashes it's completely safe it's a normal process nothing will go wrong your gpu won't catch on fire so so you can do it but do it safely in the whole process you have to make sure to keep an eye on the gpu temperature as i said in the start because temperature plays an important role while processing the gameplay or graphics so gpu works two ways first is the uh, the speed of your gpu that you set on clock and second is the heating of the graphics card any graphic card will run slower if it's much heated so you have to make sure that you keep an eye on the temperatures. The normal temperature that your GPU can run is somewhere between 75 to 85 degrees Celsius. Anywhere above that is harmful. So you have to adjust your fan speed or lower your clocks again. So I highly recommend you guys to check it. Now I'm running it on 75 degrees and that is absolutely safe on 97% load. So once you have set your best overclock speeds you can click on save and set it to profile number two so whenever you are playing the game you can switch to profile number two and when you are not playing the game you can switch to profile number one that is just the power limits so first important tip is check your power supply calculator you can go to the link in the description below and this will take you to a cooler masters power supply calculator website set in your system specifications like i have set mine and this will tell you how much psu you should use on your computer and if you are overclocking your graphics card then you have to make sure that you are using anywhere above 100 margin so say i require 471 watt power supply unit so i should have at least 600 watt power supply so i can supply my pc with enough power even if i am overclocking my processor as well as my graphic card with this configuration i have a 850 watt power supply and that is more than enough so yeah first thing is always see that if you have enough power supply on your pc if not then i do not recommend you guys to overclock your gpu as your system will crash and it might even damage the lifespan of your gpu next up is always make sure that you have your gpu temperature in control that is between 75 to 85 degrees celsius that's a safe limit of a gpu anywhere above 85 degree is harmful this won't give you the performance as well as uh, decrease the lifespan of your graphics card so i highly recommend you guys to keep it in the safe limit even if it takes to increase the fan speed i recommend you guys to do it so that's how you are done with the overclocking of your graphics card i hope this video helps you out if it does make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button it really helps me out growing my channel also do leave your specs in the comments below and i will help you guys to uh, get better performance on your pc also do leave a comment down below on what videos should i make next it really helps me out finding topics for you guys and with all that said we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out